10 UK cities with the laziest workers. Hello! Our focus at this time is on the UK cities with the laziest workers. No, this isn't a stereotype. I know there are lots of hard-working people in the UK cities that will be mentioned here, as you'll see. So why are we interested in the UK cities with the laziest workers? We're doing that for those living in the UK, planning to work in the UK, looking to start a business in one of the UK cities, and those hoping to employ workers in the UK. This rating is based on the data from a survey of workers conducted by the Job Board CV Library. In addition to the annual Gross Value Added or GVA data from the Office for National Statistics, here are 10 UK cities with laziest workers. 10. Liverpool Liverpool, the city on the Mersey River, is our starting point. It's one of the 10 UK cities with the laziest workers. Among those working in the UK, those living in Liverpool are among the highest paid, with an average weekly pay of £496. However, when as much as 36.6% admitted that they idle around at work regularly, what level of productivity do you expect? According to recent data from the Office for National Statistics, Liverpool's GVA is £13.4 billion for the year in consideration. While each worker in the city has £43,396 as GVA per employee, which is the indicator of per capita productivity. The fact that only 62.3% of them are employed, one of the lowest employment rates in the UK, may indicate Liverpool's aversion for work. 9. York The next one of the UK cities with the laziest workers is York. Some 40% of those working in York said they habitually slack off at work. What's been the result of that? The GVA in York is £6.4 billion. When surveying those living in the UK, the GVA per head is £24,499, while employee productivity stands at £45,547. The GVA per head is lower because only 74.4% of working age people in York are employed. Interestingly, some 6.9% of employees don't have the required qualification. The average weekly earning in York isn't bad at £447. The common trend among the two in five York workers who admitted and were tagged lazy is that they don't put as much effort into their assigned work as they could. 8. London There are lazy workers also in London. The confession made by workers in London was similar to the one made by those working in Oxford and Liverpool. That is why 42.5% of workers in London are considered lazy at work. You thus have to admit London to the rank of the UK cities with the laziest workers. In the year surveyed, the gross value added of London is £468.1 billion, while the GVA per head is £43,629. GVA per employee, which is the employee productivity, is £70,392. The employment rate in London is as high as 72.4%, with about 92.4% of Londoners working in the UK having some form of qualifications. For obvious reasons, the London weekly earning is the highest at £676. 7. Oxford As mentioned earlier, those working in Oxford have a good number of them doing some other things not related to work when they should be busy at work. Some 42.9% of them made that personal confession. With such an unacceptably huge figure, Oxford has to be listed among the UK cities with the laziest workers. The level of workers' productivity in Oxford is not encouraging at all. We may not be fair to those workers if we simply assume that they're lazy. While 75% of living in Oxford are employed, only 6% of them lack qualifications. That tells us something. Workers in this city appear to be distracted by their ambition to advance their careers. This desire may have been fueled by their working around a world-renowned university. 6. Brighton When properly interviewed, the expression used by those working in the cities of Brighton and Sheffield was that they could work harder than they were doing. Some 43.8% of the workers in Brighton confessed to their work habit and employers are complaining about low productivity at Brighton. 
At Brighton & Hove, the average employee productivity stands at £45,348, and this brings down the GVA per person to £24,989. Some £7.1 billion is the GVA recorded in Brighton, even though 75.5% of Brighton's residents are employed. This is probably one of the reasons the average weekly income of the workers in this city is £447. Even that amount appears to be too much in the reckoning of the employers who believe that they are not getting enough productivity for their spendings. 5. Sheffield OK, Sheffield. We have peeped into the work habits of the workers in Sheffield. As earlier observed, those employees are not working hard enough as 45% of them willingly admitted. In this city in South Yorkshire in Northern England, £12.6 billion has been recorded as the gross value added. At the individual level, the GVA per head is £19,833, while GVA per employee, namely productivity, is given as £41,695. Ironically, Sheffield has one of the lowest employment rates, which is 69.5%. Should this not spur those fortunate to be employed to be hardworking? But they are not all qualified to work, as some 11.1% of those working do not have any qualifications. Therefore, we should not be surprised by the low wages in Sheffield. The average weekly earnings are £445. All of this because Sheffield is one of the UK's cities with the laziest workers. 4. Edinburgh Let us step out of England and cross over to Scotland to see another one of the UK's cities with the laziest workers. This time we would be talking about Edinburgh, the capital city, where 46% of the workers confessed that they were lazing around when they should be busy at their assigned work. We can't complain that in Edinburgh, £24.7 billion has been recorded as the gross value added. The GVA per head is £36,963, while GVA per employee, namely productivity, is given as £55,196. What should be of real interest is the high employment rate. In a city that has 73.1% of working age residents employed, there should be an impetus for hard work. Where that is added to the fact that only 5.3% of those working in Edinburgh lack any qualification, more productivity should be expected. And for Scotland's economy, a weekly pay of £554 should encourage employees to work hard. 3. Nottingham We move next to Nottingham, a city and a county town in central England. In this city, 50%, yes, a whole half of the workers there, said they regularly slack off in their workplace. Many of these workers believe that they can easily get away with it. What else do the statistics say? A relatively small £10.1 billion has been recorded as the gross value added. Individually, the GVA per head is £27,645, whereas the GVA per employee, namely productivity, is given as £37,948. Is the lower employment rate of 67.3% due to the unwillingness to work or non-availability of work? The answer is obvious when you consider the fact that even among those who are working, some 10% do not have any qualifications. Subsequently, the average weekly earnings of £457 is a bonus. 2. Norwich Norwich, a city in England, is the next point of call. This city is among the three UK cities with the laziest workers. Over 55.5% of workers confess that they are lazy. And they are correct, as statistics from other sources reveal. Of course, what further need of stat do we have when more than half of the workers have already owned up to the unproductive work habit? 1. Southampton Surprisingly, Southampton is the titled laziest city in the UK. It is one of the cities with the highest weekly wages. The average wage in Southampton is £500, so the workers there really have no reason to be lazy. A reliable survey shows that a vast majority of workers in this city are having the required qualification for the work they do. Only 7% of workers in the city do not have any qualifications. The city also has a high employment rate of 74.1%. With all this encouraging data, why do we still rank it among the UK cities with the laziest workers? But it is not just one of the cities, but it is the very city with the highest number of lazy workers. 
Well, the data from the Office of National Statistics reveal that the city's GVA of Southampton is low at £5.8 billion, while the GVA per employee, which is per capita productivity, is just £45,882 for the whole year. All these are because more than 6 in 10 64% workers admitted to slacking off regularly. As you can now see, this ranking of 10 UK cities with laziest workers is based on what workers in each of the cities surveyed said about their work habits. If you know any other UK city where the attitude to work is worse than these, please don't hesitate to share in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe, comment and turn on the notification bell.